All right, what's going on guys? Trev back again, here to bring you another video. This one's gonna be doing another Walking Dead discussion topic video, going to be counting down who I think are the top five best actors or the actors that have given the best performances in the Walking Dead television series thus far, which is up to season five. good stuff so this is one that was suggested by quite a few people but most recently Renee N so thank you very much for the good topic suggestion if you guys have any other great suggestions for me please PM them to me through YouTube private message them to me and I'll take them into consideration and do the ones that uh, make for good videos so this one's a tough one we're gonna be counting our top five or at least my top five that I think uh, are the actors that have given the best performances in the Walking Dead television series. Now, the thing about this is, is some roles are better than others. For example, no matter how great the actress is who played Laurie, um, <laughs> Sarah Wayne Kelly's, um, it doesn't really matter. I wouldn't put her on this list anyway because of the character. So it's not just about the actor's ability, that kind of thing to, to portray the part, but um, also kind of which performances to me have stood out the most and have been my favorite in terms of, uh, you know, the actors that portray the parts and really sell those parts. So basically what I'm saying is just because an actor's not on here, that doesn't mean they're not as good of an actor. You, you, you guys get what I'm saying? As someone else that is, it could just be that their character is, is a horrible character like Laurie or somebody like that. So no matter how good they are at portraying the part, we're supposed to hate Laurie. So, you know, Sarah Wayne Calise is doing her job and making us hate her. Uh, some other characters have been similar, like Andrea and, you know, characters like that that we don't like. So um, take that into consideration. And also, I would say this is pretty, this is pretty subjective. You know, um, I think... When you see when you see someone acting in that, I mean, you can try to critique it and not be biased, but I think that it's kind of a subjective thing which performances you like better. It also depends on how much you like the character they're playing. Uh, for example, um, Tyrion from Game of Thrones, played by uh, Peter Dinklage, gets all kinds of credit because everyone loves Tyrion. If it was a now he he does an amazing, absolutely incredible job, and he deserves all the awards he's won. But what I'm saying is that if it was a if it was a role that nobody cared about, you know, would anybody be nominating him for you know an Emmy or, or whatever the case may be? Uh, would he be winning? You know, probably not. So just take that into consideration. It's not a knock against anybody if they're not on the uh, the list. But in my opinion, and I'm not a professional, you know, uh, I'm not a drama person. You guys know. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm not. But uh, from my opinion, in terms of what I've seen. Here are my top five favorite uh, actors to portray a role in the Walking Dead television series thus far. Uh, we'll start with number five and count them down. So the fifth best, in my opinion, is going to be um, Scott Wilson, of course, who played Herschel. Um, I think that his performance as Herschel was absolutely fantastic. Right up until the end, when he gets the uh, when he gets killed uh, by the governor, and you know, just the reaction from the other. The other cast, the way he, though, I don't, there's something about him where he really sets in this kind of uh, feeling of like a fatherly figure for the group. And um, the way Scott Wilson plays him, where he's troubled, you know, he had the alcoholism thing, and he's able to instill hope in Rick, and, uh, you know, you get to come back. And, and a lot of the stuff that happened in season four is the reason for me putting him on this list. I just loved his performance. I think he sold it all the way through, and uh, he was he was incredible. He plays about he he plays the perfect father figure type character that you could ever want to have. So you know, for what he did for that role, it was perfect. Everything was right on point, um, and, and really touching too. Really touching stuff. So he's got to be on the list. I put him at number five. Uh, number four is going to be uh, Norman Reedus, of course, as Daryl. Now, some people might say, oh, how come he's not higher on the list, that type of thing. Um, mainly for me because, okay, well, he, okay, he basically, in his interpretation of this character and the way he plays the character, has kept the character alive in the TV series. He really has. Um, I could have seen them killing him off at any point in time from seasons one through four up till now, really, because... He's not a character from the comic book series. He was someone that was added in. And as an addition, you don't know where they're going to go with him. You don't know how long they're going to keep him. If nobody liked him, they probably would have killed him off right away, you know, a lot sooner. But um, he's had some great lines. He's really funny. He's really um, 
course, badass with all the zombie kills and everything. And, uh, you know, even even on person with the tank in season four and losing Merle and, and that, you know, he's uh, his, his cry face. You know, you know, the cry face is funny. <laughs> There's a lot of memes with that on the Internet with a cry face. Um, but uh, I think he really sells that performance and he gives life to the character of Daryl. And in a lot of ways, he is Daryl or Daryl is his creation. You know, more uh, I want to say it's more so like his creation than it is like uh, any of the, you know, the writers or Kirkman or anybody like that. It's kind of like he created that character, so to speak, you know, and uh, he's kept him alive, I, I think, personally. So otherwise, he could have been just like T-Dog or somebody like that that was in the background, and never really nothing really amounted of him. So really cool stuff. Um, definitely top badass for The Walking Dead. So number four, Daryl. Uh, number three is going to be Lenny James as Morgan. Yes. Now, some of you might say, why would you put him higher than, than Daryl? Why would he be on the list at number three? Because every time he's in a scene, he absolutely destroys it. He kills it. Yes, I know he's only in, a, in like two episodes. <laughs> I'm aware of that. But it doesn't matter. You know, uh, every time we see him, he just kills it for me. Uh, for example, uh, in the first season, the first episode with his wife, you know, how, how can you watch that? And not just kind of get teary eyed if you're if you're getting into the show, if you're you know, you're not like, oh, this is stupid or whatever, because some people, you know, they just can't get in and stuff like that. But if you're getting into the show and you're, you're watching that, you know, and you see his wife and he's crying, he's got the rifle, you hear the shot, you see Dwayne and man, you just oh, man, he, his performance, even though it's short, it's been short, but sweet. In Clear, he added to that by playing, you know, uh, of course, kind of a crazed Morgan, right? Clear, uh, alone, crazy Morgan. And I think that that's a really hard thing to pull off. It's difficult to act and be um, kind of that, that crazy type character, I would think, because you have to play that and then you have to switch to kind of a more um, serious, like, I know you, you know, and, and kind of come back from that. But then in addition to that, you don't want to go too far with it. You know, you don't want to go too far with the, the craziness so that it just looks silly and stupid. You have to be careful of overacting as well, right? And he plays it perfect. He plays it right in the middle where he's got enough emotion and enough, um, you know, sort of um, passion and what he's saying and, and, and kind of that just that deliri that delirium, you know, where he really sells that. So even though... Granted, it's only been a couple episodes he's been in. Each episode, he's absolutely killed it for me. And that's why he's got to be on this list. And yeah, I'll put him higher than Norman Reedus' as Daryl, as awesome as he is, and Scott Wilson, because he has given life to Morgan that in the comic books wasn't there. Period. Was not there. Morgan in the comics was like, oh yeah, he's okay. It's just some guy. In the TV series, when we see him, man, it's like, wow, you know, this was like the first guy Rick met. And uh, what's happened to him, his, his, his change, even though we haven't seen it all, him describing, you know, his wife and, and him not putting her down and Dwayne and, oh my God, I loved Lenny James' performance as Morgan on The Walking Dead. Just incredible. So for him, going to be number three. Uh, second highest, so the runner up right now is going to be John Bernthal for me in terms of an actor. Uh, yeah, I know he hasn't been in The Walking Dead for a couple seasons. He's not my absolute favorite character anymore because, you know, of course he hasn't been in it since the first two, which is, you know, short a short amount compared to how many we've had now, but uh, not even halfway. But his performance as Shane is is really incredible. You know, his transformation and the evolution and the pain that he shows and stuff. And yeah, there is some funny stuff like, um, you know, what was it? Um, Honest Trailers or, or Bad Lip Reading. I forget which one where he'll, they show how many times he rubs his head <laughs> you know, and his mannerisms and stuff. And when they show it like that, it is pretty funny. But to be honest, when I was watching the episodes, I did not notice. I mean, I noticed he rubbed his head and did stuff like that. But um, it just felt really organic. It felt really natural to see him do that because he's constantly dealing with uh, stressful situations. And that's the character's response to that is that mannerism as well as many others. So, um, you know, the whole thing with him shaving his head and all that. And the way that he gets us to connect to the character of Shane, the way the comic book series never did, never even close to. So for me, the runner up, the second best here, and it's close. He almost, I almost put him at number one. I'm thinking save the last one. I'm thinking bloodletting. I'm thinking 18 miles out. He just he brought on some serious emotion to that role that I just I couldn't believe. You know, he he was that much better than the comic book series 
that I still, even to this day, years later, have to put him a number two on the list as one of the best actors in The Walking Dead so far, just because of the emotional charge that I got out of seeing him in the first couple seasons. Amazing, man. John Bernthal, killing it. And number one, of course, it's going to be, you guys already know, it's got to be Andrew Lincoln, um, of course, playing Rick Grimes. Yeah, I mean, it it has to be, you know, um, I would say, especially after... He, he, they ask a lot of him in terms of, you know, different uh, emotions and acting in the series, especially with regards to loss and, and stress and things like that. We've seen him go from, you know, really happy in the first season, Tell It to the Frogs, when he finds uh, Carl and Lori. We've seen him at the saddest you can ever imagine. You can, you, you've seen him with the loss with, uh, with uh, Killer Within, uh, with Lori, uh, when Carl has to put her down. And that scene right there is completely 100% his performance. That's all it is. I mean, Chandler Riggs, you know, he's a kid. He does his thing, kind of puts his head down. He's sad, whatever. Yeah, he, he did a good job, too. But and Andrew Lincoln looks at his face, and he realizes that Carl has had to put down Lori. She didn't make it. And, you know, just the reaction and the falling down and everything. I mean, that's the type of thing. I don't know how you couldn't, how that couldn't bring a tear to your eye if you watch the series all the way through and you care about the characters. He just absolutely crushes that scene. He kills it, and he gives it life. You know, without that, you know, it's just it's just him standing outside, you know, in the, in the prison environment, you know, being sad. You know, he he really goes for it in that scene, and I don't feel like it's overacting. I feel like it's it's an accurate representation of his understanding of the situation once he once he realizes. Um, and it's not just that. I mean, there's so many parts, you know, when he goes feral recently and uh, <laughs> no no Wolverine claws, but he goes feral and, and you know, bites Joe and, and all the other stuff we've seen with him. You know, the speech uh, at the prison, Too Far Gone. You know, he's had a lot of opportunities to show uh, his acting uh, s- skills and he's never, I, I, can't, I can't think of one scene where he messed up once, one scene where... You know, he didn't he didn't sell the performance. He didn't go for it and, and, and just really own that performance. I can't think of one. So, yes, he's the main character, so he should be kind of, you know, he should be up there. But if they had casted Rick wrong, if they didn't have an actor that could, could put on that kind of a performance, it could be a very different series. You know, you, you could have a series that doesn't get as many ratings, that's not as high, that the people don't really care about so much. It's, it's the actors that give it life, that, that breathe life into it and make us feel that emotion. And I don't think anybody could really feel more emotion than any scene than when, when Rick, um, you know, finds out Lori's dead or, or kills Shane at the end there. This is you, not me. You know, uh, when Herschel's gone, you know, too far gone and, and all the others, man. Andrew Lincoln's got to be number one. So there's my top five of my opinion of the best performances, the actors who've given the best performance. Yeah, they're all male, unfortunately. Um, I mean, it, it, that's not it, that's not on purpose. It's just it's it's just kind of the way like the the roles the ones that have connected with me the most it, uh, are these. So number five, Scott Wilson as Herschel. Number four, uh, Norman Reedus as Daryl. Number three, Lane James as Morgan. Number two, John Bernthal as Shane. And number one, Andrew Lincoln as Rick Grimes. Cannot go wrong. Hope you guys like the video. Let me know who your top five favorite actors of the Walking Dead television series are. Write them in the comments below. If you like the video, please like the video. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. If you want to help support the channel, share the video on your Facebook or Twitter or whatever you have. And uh, call it here. That's it for this video, guys. See you for the next one. This is Trav, as always, and I'm saying peace.